Hey, hey, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you my top plugins for Illustrator that's gonna help your design process and help your logo design process by 100%. The plugin is called Astute Graphics. So if you go to astutegraphics.com, this is hands down the best plugins for Illustrator. And they recently launched a new program where everything is based on a subscription model. So you pay $119 US per year and you get access to all of the updated plugins every year. So I'm just gonna scroll through here and show you some of the stuff you can see they've got tutorials on youtube they have their own youtube channel as well they also have some big names like von glitch are doing some of the tutorials as well and showing you the tools you can see they've got so many tools the vector first aid the wit scribe the inquest texturino phantasm rasterino so you know anything to do with like illustrations you know logo designing shape building um, construction, doing grain effects, stippling effects, you know, creating mathematical shapes for like complex in maybe industrial like type of drawings. It's got a mirror me thing where you can actually create a logo and it mirrors it on the other side automatically. It's got, you know, auto savior, which saves your programs if they randomly crash. Um, they got vector scribe where you can actually measure and add shapes um, dynamically, which are really cool. And you can see even Aaron Joplin actually uses it as well. So this is a cool little inspiration there. But you can click on all the plugins here. They've got really good support and really good pricing. You can see some of the videos here. It shows you the capabilities. But And I'm going to give you a quick demo now, which is really cool. I'm not in the affiliate program. So this is just me actually showing you from my perspective and my opinion. So I'm going to jump in Illustrator. And you can see here, if you go to your window, when you install the actual plugins, They'll actually show up in your Illustrator here. And you can see here, I've got, you know, Phantasm. I can click it and you can see the panel will show up here. And I've got some of the panels here. But they also actually have the Astute Manager that you download. It's sort of like Adobe Creative Cloud. I don't know why that's not opening, but I think it's the wrong file. So here, here you go. So once you install that, you'll get um, the Manager up which stays in the top right corner for some reason. But you can see I'm signed in and you can see all my um, tools here all installed and I can click learn, I can uninstall it. So it sort of works like um, Adobe, Adobe uh, CC. And if I click learn, you can see it will show you everything to do with that tool and it'll help you learn and grow. So I'm gonna just get out of that. So I'm in Illustrator, I'm gonna show you something really cool. I'm gonna show you dynamic shapes. So if I click dynamic shapes, you can see here, it gives you all these parameters that I can use. So maybe I want a gear icon. I don't have to manually create it anymore. I can literally click this icon, left click and drag. I can hold shift to keep the proportions and you know keep it symmetrical. And if I let go there, you can see it's made a shape for me. I can then go and actually edit these parameters and it's gonna edit everything for me. So I can play around with this. I can play around with the tooth hit um, height. I can play with around the tip. I can make it pointy tip. I can make it more wider. I can edit the root size there. The base as well, make it thicker if I want to make it like a flower thing. I can change the base fillet so you can see if I zoom in, it's rounding these corners off. I can edit the, the bowing so you can see it makes it more sharp there. I can make it more deeper. You know, there's so much things. I can edit the size there. I can move it. I can edit the degrees as well. And you know, there's just so much stuff you can do. I can, I can spin it around, rotate it. I can add more teeth. It's just like super handy. And it's like the same for all these shapes. All I do is have to click on this part bar. And then once again, I can edit all these shapes, customize it the way I want. It's super flexible, super easy. And yeah, I just love using this tool. Another cool tool actually is the dynamic corners. So if I make a box real quick and I click dynamic corners, let's just, let's add some color here. What I can do is without even going into Illustrator, like usually you'd have to go and pull these things here or you'd have to like make another point and like do this. You might have to like do it like that or you'd have to, you know, get a shape like a bit wider and then like shape it at all, cut this off like this. But now I don't need to do that. I can literally cl just click, click on the shape I want, select the dynamic corners, and then I can click either a round, a bevel or a, you know, 
a concave version. So if I click whatever I want, I can go and left click once and then I can just drag it and it cuts it off like this. I can change it to rounded. All I have to do is just select which corner I want. It registers the corners. You can see the red line and I can just change it really easily like that. So like it will make your logo designs way faster in your shape building. And you can click apply to selection and it automatically does it. I can edit the sizing. I can literally customize some cool stuff. So now I've got this really weird shape. And what else here? I've got path scribe. So it allows you to, you know, adjust paths and things like that. So maybe I don't want any round curves. I can click this button here and it should retract all the handles to make it go straight. And you can see that. So this is just a few plugins I've showed you and it's literally cut time in half. It makes your workflow so much more efficient and effective. And I recommend investing in the actual subscription. It's only your one payment a year and you get all these bonuses and you get all these cool tools. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. Leave a comment below if you think these plugins are useful or not and hit that subscribe button to get some more content every week.